A rash of robberies in Harlem has some businesses changing how they do business. They're pushing for customers to pay with plastic, and they're keeping less cash on hand. But will it make them less of a target for crime? Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson has the story. <laughs> You don't see him, but can hear him loud and clear. He went in, dropped it, came and took the, the ATM like if it, he was walking in his house. The suspect was breaking into Emanuel's business, Just Smile Barbershop, here at 138th and Adam Clayton Powell. The suspect used a brick to smash a window, then the struggle to get out the extremely heavy ATM machine. Wait for it. <laughs> The thief suddenly appears with the machine, which was loaded with cash. The same guy that came in here, I was told by the police that he hit 10 to 13 businesses the same in three days. Right across the street here at Harlem Chocolate Factory, someone got in through the front window and walked away with wads of cash. We're not some big, huge business where that, like, that, oh, that's coming out of the strikeage budget. Like, that comes out of our pocket. <coughs> This suspect did end up dragging that ATM down the sidewalk. Emmanuel plans to put gates up on the windows and scale back on the amount of cash he keeps in the shop, instead opting for things like Venmo, Apple Pay and Zelle, also using credit card machines. We work hard and it might seem that because we work 12, 12 hours, it might seem that we have our pocket full of money. You know, we don't want nobody to take our you know, little change that we work so hard for. But here's the tricky part. By law, businesses here in the city must accept cash, a way of leveling the playing field. Those bucking the system could potentially face thousands in fines.